gosh, yeah, what is that? That looks cool. Should I tell them what I want to know? It's the gospel. Duh, come on, let's just share with them. Yeah. Oh, these you asked? This is just a Bro, where can I find them? With the relationship with God, all you have to do is believe in Jesus and he will come into you and forgive all your sins. Oh, wow. Well, I guess it's time for me to have a relationship with God. This is my type of shoe. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, man, the heat, though. Hmm. Get ready to slumber, brother gone. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. It happened. Oh. Wait. Wait, the camera? Yo, what is up, TBG? <laughs> it's John Vlogs, and today, today, I'm gonna get with another video. And guys, if you're wondering in that intro, you know, do I just did I just did a purple, a purposeful voice crack? Oh, what is up, TBG? <laughs> it's my friend and I, Nora, and I make a joke because she watches my videos sometimes. And I remember I have like a span of like a lot of videos of me doing voice cracks. Yo, what is up, TBG? Yo, what is up, TBG? Yo, what is up, TBG? It's just hilarious. But yeah, guys, welcome back to another video. It's Scripture Sunday. Every Sunday, I read a scripture for you. You watching this video, I read a scripture and I break it down. But, 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 it's not just any ordinary Scripture Sunday. It's the Armor of God series, episode three. So today, guys, today, we're talking about the gospel of peace. Sevens. Yeah, that was a little bit calm because, you know, peace is calm. I'm not going to be like, the gospel of peace sevens. No, it's not how it is. So, yeah, but I will be doing this. Welcome to the Armor of God series. Episode 3. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for tuning in on Jazz Vlogs today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You didn't have to. You, you could have clicked on any video, but you decided to click on this one. And yesterday, I posted a vlog. If you haven't seen it, the link will be in the description box below. That's where you can find all my latest videos on um, what I did. You know, like yesterday, I did a vlog. It was really funny. We had some laughs here and there. So, yeah, guys, last week, we did the Breastplate of Righteousness. The other week, we did... The Bed of Truth, which was episode yep. one. But today, as you saw by the intro, we're looking at the Gospel of Peace Shoes. As you can see, y'all, yes, I made this part. Yes, I am the manuf manufacturer of this. I made it. I made it. Magic Corners. Yes, thank you very much. And stop, it. stop it. Stop it. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. So Ephesians 6.15 says, And your feet showed with the preparation of the Gospel of Peace. Very short, right? But a deep meaning. I'll say that one more time. And your feet show with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Now, as you saw by the intro, this is way better than the Jordan 5s, the Retro, the 7s, whatever, how many, however many pairs of Jordans there are, Nikes, Adidas, all those, the gospel of peace, 7s, they're way better. And I'm going to explain why in this video. Uh, I wonder why it says the gospel of peace. Why not the spirit of peace or anything else? Well, it's not just saying that because it's in the Bible, because peace is mentioned throughout the Bible a lot of times. But it says it's saying this because we witness with peace. It says your feet show with the pr preparation of the gospel of peace. And the gospel, what is the gospel? You may be new to Christ. You may, be, you may not even uh, accept the Christ to your heart yet. And I hope that you will do. And I hope that I'll be a part of that and I plant the seed. But the gospel is the good news of Christ. The good news that God forgave us of our sins. God forgave us of our mess of our mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. You today, you may be watching this. There's someone who forgive all my sins. There's someone who will finally forgive me of what I've done. You feel like you can't go back. You feel like you can't do anything to stop Stop it to fix it well God can God sees you as whole you may feel broken but God will put you back together again and the good news is he sent Jesus down the cross to die for our own sins we deserve that punishment Jesus went through but God said you know what no I'm gonna rewrite the script you know ooh, 
God said, I'm going to rewrite the script. Yeah, when Adam and Eve bit the apple in the garden, and even when, he, they, when, they were, when, we portray, when we betrayed God and we're doing it still to this day, God said, you know what? This is not the end. This is not the end of mankind. I'm going to forgive them. I'm going to flip the script. So, when we witness, when we see a person, I'm, I'm hopefully I'm witnessing to you right now. I can see a random person. Somebody can walk back uh, past me, and I say, "Hey, you know, hi, hi I'm I'm Giles. I want to share the good news with you." When we witness with every step. We step with peace, you know, because the gospel, the good news, brings peace. You know what's and the thing is, when Jesus was on the cross, I mean, his physical body, he was at, he was in pain. He was in pain. He just because he was, he was God and he was a human, doesn't mean he wasn't experiencing pain. No, he was, he had nails through his hand. He has a crown of thorns. He was spit on. He was whipped. That doesn't mean his flesh was turning off of him. Which, but yet he still said to God, "Forgive them, Father, for they not know." what they are doing come on y'all if that's not peace i don't know what is the sun is coming out god the god just must be open up to heaven right now you see that you see how i talk about that but jesus's peace is different than any other peace it's the peace of god that surpasses all understanding because the world's peace is not peace i'll tell you that the world's peace is not peace because the world's definition of peace is the absence of chaos i'll say it again the world's definition of peace is the absence of chaos you can really, you can literally, you can go on Google and type in peace definitions. I'll put it on the screen. And you can go on Google. I, I'll put it on the screen. But you can type in peace definition. And you know what it says? Freedom from disturbance. Freedom from disturbance. Or uh, when the war is over. Freedom from disturbance. But the thing about God's peace, y'all. Oh, this is good. The thing about God's peace is you can have freedom from disturbance in disturbance. Freedom. Okay, I'll say that again. Just one time, okay? You can have freedom from god's peace you can have freedom from disturbance in disturbance so what i mean is you can be in the midst of a storm you can be in the midst of disturbance right now but you can be at peace that's the thing about the gospel of peace the shoes of peace you can walk and with every step that you take you can walk with peace but the thing about this god wants you to have steps of peace in the midst of it i'm gonna put my my hand in here but i'm gonna put my hand in here but god wants you to step with peace right he wants to step in the midst of that bumpy road in the midst of that not the hayride when in the roller coaster he wants you to step with peace you know the scripture says walk by faith and not by sight but walking by faith is knowing that god is in control walking by faith is trusting god that he that you, you know what god is up to in your life you may not know the specific details but you know god is in control and when you walk by faith you know that God's in control so that puts you at peace right so with every step that you take you're stepping with peace and I think about the Black Panther example you know R.I.P. to Chadwick Boseman what a great legend and you know and there's a scene in there where he's the I think it's the sister I think I'll roll the clip if I find it and what are these the real question is what are those <laughs> why do you have your toes out in my lap but you don't like my royal sandals Fully automated, like the old American movie Baba used to watch. Mm. And I made them completely sound absorbent. Interesting. Guess what I call them? Sneakers. But basically, they are talking about, you know, she's made a the suit where you can't hear the feet, right? I think it's uh, soundproof soundproof shoes so when he walks no one can hear him so just like that the gospel of peace is like that with every step you take it's like oh wow i may be in this bumpy chaotic situation but with every step i'm taking i'm at peace and yes with you remember the first part of this it says put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the what the walls of the devil so the enemy he's not gonna stop there he sees your piece of shoes right he's gonna he sees your gospel of peace sevens he sees that right he's gonna try to sweep you he's gonna try to sweep your peace and the thing is sometimes we think we go for the head which he does he goes for the you know the vital organs that we're talking about and the truth but he also tries to go for the legs because he wants to disturb your peace in your life he wants to disturb it and he wants to, wants to try to get into you but the thing is you may not like it and you don't have to be like oh great it's cupcakes and red wool. Yay! I'm getting attacked by the enemy. No, you don't have to be like that. That's actually not saying, but you, you being honest with yourself is good. But the thing is, you don't have to become disturbed, even if it's a disturbance, you know? So it's the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. The, uh, the peace that he's attacking isn't like any other peace. The peace that he's attacking isn't like the peace in the world that thinks that we have to, everything has to be perfect. No, 
the peace of God which surpasses all understanding is the peace of God that will guard your hearts and your mind. And so when you guard your hearts and your mind, your the enemy may try to sweep you, but you're standing firm in the peace. Stand firm in your peace. Stay firm in Jesus. Stay firm in God. So yeah, y'all, that will wrap up today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave this video with a like. And if you're new to the channel, if you're new and you haven't seen my videos yet, hopefully that you are subscribed. I'm not forcing you to. And you may click that subscribe button and move on with your day. But to me, it really feels like another brother and a sister join the team. And if you didn't know, Team MGU represents Team Never Give Up. Yeah, guys, I love you. Thank you almost all the support. We're on the road 300. We're so close. We're like 19 subs away. We're going to grind. We're doing a giveaway at 300 subscribers. You know you're going to get one of my books. Whoever, you know, I'm going to pick somebody at random, you know. And so, yeah. And feel free if you want to get your book yourself. If you don't want to wait, feel free to go check my website, jobsbooks.com. You know what time it is. Stay positive. Stay happy. And remember, never give up. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. And it's free break, y'all. So we doing some fire vlogs. Peace.